Well, greetings and welcome back to the Steel Guitar. Uh, Steve Gunder of SDF Bars. He told me what SDF stands for, but I don't remember. I apologize. Anyhow, uh, uh, you may have seen on the Steel Guitar Forum that he is selling some. Uh, he dropped some off for uh, me to take a look at. And uh, uh, just to show you what the basic uh, sounds like, my, my usual bar is uh, a Dunlop chrome thing. I'm not sure what the Dunlop bar uh, has for a substrate, but uh, the rig is uh, on E9, I've got a True Tone, the C6, I've got an E66, uh, down to a Goodrich pot pedal, into a uh, 65 reissue twin that I think just sounds real pretty. Uh, anyhow, uh, Here's what uh, my normal bar sounds like. Uh, and so now on to the bars of Steve's. Uh, this one, uh, he told me what grade of stainless it is, but I do not remember and I didn't write it down. He's left. Uh, but it's a highly polished hard stainless. And it seems just a little bit brighter than uh, than the other. It it does seem to have a bit of a drag. But on the stainless uh, wound strings, because I am running stainless uh, sets on the guitar, but uh, it's not real objectionable, not real noticeable. Uh, I, pretty, uh, I was expecting to have that issue, but it doesn't seem to. I guess it's because it's highly polished. Anyhow. Uh, that one is the polished stain one, stainless. Uh, this one, uh, it's 464 brass. Uh, he tells me that's uh, an extra hard alloy of brass. Uh, I'm not a metallurgist, not a machinist. Uh, uh, it's 464 brass, whatever that means. Uh, I think it means it sounds pretty. And then uh, the same 464 brass, but uh, with a chrome plating on it. And he says most people that uh, chrome plate things use a bright chrome. And, uh, uh, you know, when they plate for appearance. And uh, hard chrome is for things like uh, bearings and other stuff where you need that hard brittleness of chromium and it is thicker and harder, and he says that's what he uses. Uh, he's a machinist. I'm a truck driver and a steel guitar player. Uh, uh, but it's chrome-plated brass. Uh, it's, it seems, oddly, just slightly less bright than the natural brass. But I like it, uh, and I think I am done playing uh, my regular uh, Dunlops. Uh, I don't happen to have either any uh, uh, BJS or, uh, what's the other one that everybody likes on the forum? Uh, at any rate, uh, 
Uh, but uh, this one here uh, is uh, number seven. That's this is hard chromed 1144 steel. Uh, 1144 is supposedly one of the harder forms of, uh, uh, I assume it's mild steel, I don't see why anybody would, uh, heat treat, uh, you know, a pedal steel bar, but at any rate, uh, it's hard chromed 1144 steel. <laughs> So that's uh, hard chromed 1144 steel. Uh, this one uh, was a pleasant surprise. Uh, it's T6 titanium, which he tells me is harder than the T2 that are made by the other guys uh, selling titanium bars. Uh, it is, uh, I'm kind of impressed with it. Uh, than the others, as you would expect. Uh, it is heavier than the, uh, than the last one. Uh, anodized aluminum. Uh, it surprised me that its tone wasn't funky. I've played with one other aluminum bar before, and it really, I didn't much care for it, but this one actually has decent tone. <laughs> It obviously doesn't sustain like uh, the other five hard bars. You know, that's without me moving the volume pedal, it just drops off really quickly. But if you're trying to uh, say, you know, get all, uh, you know, Fender 800 Ralph Mooney. <laughs> dies off noticeably quicker than the steel bars and I think actually kind of has uh, you know almost a fender like uh, decay and it has one other kind of cool purpose uh, pardon me as I uh, wait a minute oh well hang on uh, I was already running through it uh, I have a, uh, one of the Dunlop, uh, uh, resonator pedals, and... play the the regular uh, bluegrass stuff uh, let me turn it around
Anyhow, so yeah, uh, I am impressed with these bars, and uh, with the possible exception of my Dunlop sitar bar, uh, I may well be done with any uh, any of my Dunlops and others, and I may ask uh, Steve to uh, make me a stainless bar with the flat down the middle so I could use one of his bars to go. And that is, I managed to forget that uh, Norwegian wood lick. But, uh, yeah, I kind of like that sitar effect. Anyhow, but yeah, uh, I like his bars.